Hey y'all, what's up? It's Day, and welcome back to the video y'all been waiting forever for my lazy ass to film the bedroom. Hey, how are all y'all doing? I hope all of y'all are doing wonderful today. Um, today I am in the bedroom, and if you saw my last video, or my video before the last video, something like that, I'll link it up in the cards. Um, you would have saw that I planned out this whole entire room design. Now, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and pause this video and watch that before y'all see this video. So that's where I did all my shopping and planning and then designing, which is a fun part of the process too, so why not go ahead and see that. Today is gonna be a complete install of the room. I have everything on hand already. I'm so excited to show you guys what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing something very fun with some paint as you can see that line behind me but first let's go ahead and start off with a little before tour okay so we are in handheld mode right now so my apologies if this is just a little shaky but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what's in the room right now um, we have the TV we went ahead and mounted this on the wall I do need to change this though because this really bothers me. This is the cord cover to hide the cords. Um, I need to put that in the center because that just bothers me how it's just there. Below the TV, we have this dresser that we uh, cut the bottom off of and changed the handles, painted it. We gave it a whole entire new look. Um, I have some pictures, but I didn't get a video, unfortunately. But if you guys do want more stuff like that, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, because I have a lot of furniture that uh, I can definitely revamp. We have this CB2 bed as well, which is actually not a CB2 bed because who the hell is about to pay all that money for it? Um, not me, or at least not yet. But <laughs> uh, this is a Wayfair dupe of this uh, CB2 bed. I love it. It has these gold little caps here. It's a queen size. And then the room has two windows here which let in um, some light. It's a beautiful view actually. It's like a little lake and um, there's like some forest over there. We see deers in here all the time. Basically, I have a couple things planned for the room. So I have all the furniture that I bought in my last video. Um, and then also I want to do something fun with some paint and styling. So um, as you can see, I have this very straight line um, taped by none other than Bradley Davis, my boyfriend. Thank you so much to him because this is very impossible for someone like me to do. Well, not impossible, but I was just not about to deal with this, y'all. I didn't, I didn't want to tape it and then be slanted. He did this without any level or anything like that, and the line looks very straight. What I'm going to be doing, because this bed feels so open, like there's nothing here to kind of support the bed. There's no headboard. I want to kind of cheat a headboard by painting the bottom of this wall a very deep contrasting black. I think it'll look so good um, just behind the bed and it'll really anchor this bed to the wall and make this part of the room feel more substantial and more full because this is a big room. Um, there's actually a lot of space in this room um, and I don't have a lot of things to fill them so I need to fill spaces any way I can. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I think I'm gonna start on the painted wall because I think that has the most effect and it also takes the longest to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to taping off the sides and then painting the rest of this wall. Okay y'all, so I am almost done painting the wall. Um, it looks honestly great already. I can picture it, how it's gonna turn out. Um, and I think it's gonna be really cute. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish painting this and then I'll come back and we'll bring in some of the furniture pieces. And also we will bring in um, the sconces that I have. They're gold and they're gonna look amazing against this black contrasting wall. Alright y'all, so I finished painting the wall and it honestly looks 
so good. I am so happy that I chose to do this. It's still drying, but it honestly looks so good right now. Let me see if I can focus in. Um, but yeah, I love the way this is turning out. I have the fan going to help it dry a little faster, but just imagining the bed pushed against this with the lights, the table, the artwork, it's gonna look so good. I love just the impact. And then the court covers are gonna be on too, so it's gonna look a lot cleaner than this. All right, this looks so nice. I, the line across definitely made a difference with Bradley taping that instead of me, because I definitely messed up a bunch of times in like some places, as you can see on the wall there. With the taping, I just never can tape straight, which is annoying, but thankfully he did it because this looks awesome. But um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and start with these wall sconces that I got from World Market. Um, these are the globes for them. Um, here they are. They look like this, and then they have like a uh, that glass globe around it, and those are gonna go right on the wall. Those are gonna look so good with the gold and the black. Love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and install those. It is day two of this room transformation video. I went ahead and hung these lights here. These are from World Market. Um, I need to go get some Windex to go ahead and clean them. I just ran out of Windex. So I wiped down all the mirrors in the house. So uh, I just need to do that. But they look absolutely stunning right here. And I love how the black line looks across the room. It really does just ground this bed to this wall. It makes everything feel a little bit more substantial. Okay, y'all, so I just brought in the bench, as you saw in the last clip, and this bench is actually from Wayfair, and it was only $110. And then there's a nice sense there from Target, um, and then the lights. So next, what we need to do is get this bed in order. So I need to go ahead and throw on this duvet cover. I have, we bought this from Bed Bath & Beyond. This is very hard to put the insert inside the duvet cover. It's really annoying, honestly, and I always need help. But we're gonna go ahead and get that done, get the bed made, and then I'll go ahead and hang a picture right here, because we need something here. And then we need to work on this corner. I am going to go ahead and just get that all done for you guys, and then I'll come back for the finishing touches on the room, just because I don't want to keep spending so much time talking, I'd rather just show you guys what I'm doing. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get all that done, I'll set you on tripod. And then the next time you see me, we'll probably be doing the finishing touches on the wall. I've been thinking about your smile I've been thinking that I can't let you go Hey, can you wait a little while? Why we're holding back, I don't know I guess I'm all confused about you, about you Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing down below. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the month so your boy can become monetized. Also, if you guys want more content, you can follow me on my Instagram at DXDRIE. I post a lot of behind the scenes content on there and sometimes ask for your guys' input on my interior design choices. If you're ever wanting to request my interior design service, you can do so at blendit.home or email us at blendedhomedesign at gmail.com. As always, pieces and blessings. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Stop